welcome to Real Kosher Family Living. It's Robin, and today I'm going to show you how to do something really important. I'm going to show you how to um, turn a pair of dress pants into a pair of dress shorts for summer for small boys. So um, I would say that um, three and four year old boys can definitely get away with wearing dressy shorts um, to events instead of um, pants, and you can see that this beautiful pair of navy linen pants is um, a mess there right on the hem where my son trod on his hem. So, so the first thing that, well, the f you're going to need some supplies. You're going to need an iron. This is the most important thing you need. Um, uh, you can use any kind of regular iron that you have, um, but you definitely need um, one that produces a lot of steam. This is not producing a lot of steam because I hit the button. Okay. Um, is best. Uh, you need a pair of shorts that fits your boy well. That's about the length of that you would like it to be. Um, uh, some kind of cardboard for um, a hemming um, guide is a good idea. And you're going to need a ruler. Here's a ruler right here. And a sewing machine. So let's get started. First of all, you measure the inseam of the shorts that you're using as um, a guide. So the inseam of the the inseam is the measure from the crotch seam to the hem on the inside of the pant leg, the part that goes up the inside. Uh, that's why it's called the inseam. All right, the measurement of this inseam is six inches. Okay, you take the pants that you're cutting off, you cut off six inches plus um, an inch and a quarter on each side for the hem. Um, you don't have to be that exact. An inch and a quarter is pretty exact. I'm going to cut off six and a half inches just to give myself some wiggle room on the, um, on the hemming. So here we go. I'm cutting off six and a half, at six and a half inch inseam. Snip, snip, snip. These are my cutting scissors. Never use your cutting scissors. Your fabric cutting scissors for anything but fabric. Um, if you use them for paper or thread snips, you'll see I have my thread snipping scissors here. These are cheap scissors for cutting thread. These are my dressmaker shears. They're only for cutting fabric. Okay, don't cut pins with them either because that will ruin them very quickly. And believe me, I've done it. Okay, so I cut each leg to an inseam of six inches. All right, don't those look nice already? But they'll fry if you don't hem them. Um, if you're doing casual shorts, you can just leave them to fray. And um, and for for jeans or whatever, that's absolutely fine. For um, these shorts, though, I don't want them to fray, so I'm going to turn them inside out, like so. And then I'm going to use my piece of cardboard as a guide, and I'm going to turn up a 5 8 inch um, hem here. So I'm going to turn it up 5 eighths of an inch using my ruler. Um, again, I gave myself a little bit of wiggle room here so I don't have to have it exactly at 5 eighths of an inch. But just as an idea, I can put my ruler there into the, into the hem and see that, yep, that's a little bit more than half an inch. Perfect. So then I'm going to get my iron here. Give it lots of steam, especially on a natural fabric like linen. Um, the the iron steam is really going to hold this hem in place while you sew it. You're not going to need any pins or anything because um, just the action of the heat and the and the steam sets your seam and um, and it will be really super easy to sew if you just do it this way. Alright, so another 5 eighths of an inch on the other side. Um, like I said, iron is probably the most important um, most important tool in your sewing room. More important, I would say, than your sewing machine. Now you turn it up another 5 eighths of an inch so that there's no raw edge showing. See, um, you have a nice clean hem there. Um, and 5 eighths of an inch plus 5 eighths of an inch is 1 and a quarter inches. That's the additional hem allowance that you gave yourself when you were cutting off the pants to begin with. Um, if we measure that 
If we measure the inseam now, we should get something like six inches. Um, I would say that a good iron is more important for your sewing room than a good sewing machine. A, an iron, a sewing machine can be bought anywhere. You can find them on Craigslist. You can find them at pawn shops for just really inexpensively. If you're just getting into sewing, there's really no good reason to spend more than $50 on a sewing machine. Don't get the really old-fashioned, beautiful kind in a table. They look really pretty, but they don't do a lot of the kind of modern stitches that you're probably going to want to be able to do. Um, the, some of those older kind don't even have a back stitch. So if I were you and I was going to be at the pawn shop or whatever, I would definitely go for a, um, a more modern but still... Um, really inexpensive sewing machine. Okay, over here we have my sewing machine. Let's see if we can get the camera to show that. There it is. Um, you can see that I've taken the, um, the sewing machine apart here uh, so that there's a, the, so that the sleeve arm is free. Okay, this is called the free arm here. And um, someone has taken my needle out of my sewing machine. That's really hilarious. <laughs> okay, here's one. Luckily, my sewing machine, my sewing room is really messy, so I have sewing needles just lying all over the place, which works out well because then when your children steal into your sewing room and remove the sewing needle from your sewing machine, you don't have to look very far to find a new one. <laughs> all right, there we threaded the machine. Um, when you, if you need help threading your sewing machine, um, you know, you can always go into your local sewing store. They frequently have classes, but most of the ladies at the, or men at the sewing counter can really um, give you lots of tips and advice. And if your sewing machine is not working properly, you're getting a little thread nest on sewing, the first culprit you want to do, is, is take a look at, is make sure that you have it threaded properly. All right, so here we go. I'm going to give a 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Um, most sewing machines have a 5 eighths inch mark on them. So I'm just going to set the edge of my fabric at the 5 eighths inch mark. And I'm going to stitch all the way around. Now, you can either stitch on the top, which is what I'm doing, or on from the bottom. The nice thing about stitching from the top is that you can see what the seam is going to look like when you're done. In general, top stitching should always be done from the top. You get a, a little, it's a little tricky in pants because pants are frequently tapered. So the circumference of the pant leg lower down is less than the circumference of the pant leg higher up. And it's harder to fit a small, it's hard to stitch a small circle to a big circle. So you have to give it a little pull. If you want to stitch from the bottom, if you want to turn your pants inside out, on the free arm and stitch on the bottom, then the feed dogs, that's these little teeth here on the sewing machine, are gonna take up some of that slack and you won't have and you won't get that little tuck at the end. So it's easier to sew it inside out. I like to sew it right side out because then I can see what my finished seam is gonna look like. Alright, so that's one seam and now I'm doing this second leg here. You can see this goes really fast. You can do these for any pair, any pair of shorts that you want, um, you know, it doesn't have to be for your son, I, um, for yourself, for your husband, anybody in your family. Um, if you buy these, if you buy your children's pants at Children's Place or um, some other companies, Oshkosh might do this as well. These have an elastic on the inside that's adjustable, so this is really nice because. Um, even when whoever your cho your children outgrow in the height their pants, they might not outgrow them in the waist because the waist is adjustable for for quite a while. So here, you see, I did this in less in less than ten minutes. Front to back, done. Beautiful hem, all done. Thank you so much for joining me. Leave any questions in the box below. Bye.